so today I'm going to be talking about nail polish. Um, I know I don't mention a whole lot of nail stuff in any videos or anything, but I'm like really obsessed with nail polish. I buy probably a nail, at least a couple nail polishes a week, which I know I shouldn't because I already have so many, but I can't help it. Anyways, I'm going to talk about um, like my 10 favorite colors of the moment, and um, yeah, so let's get right into it. I have them right over here, and then I'm going to insert photos and everything so you can get like a closer look um, at the actual polish. Um, so anyways, the first one I'll talk about is um, this one right here. It's finger paint. So I do have favorite brands, um, uh, but I will give any nail polish brand a try. So my favorite brands are, of course, OPI. Um, SE Sinful is really inexpensive, simple colors, and they make really cute colors. So that's one of my favorites. Um, Sally Hansen, of course, makes really nice ones. And lately, um, I've tried some white model ones that I like. So this one is like a black with like a silver kind of sparkle through it, and it's called Where Art Renoir. So I guess it's kind of like a little art themed name. But it comes out really, really pretty. It falls coming up, so dark colors. I mean, usually I tend to wear dark colors in the fall and winter, so, but I mean, you could do what you, whatever moves you. Anyway, so this is one of my faves. Uh, for OPI, over the summer, I really loved wearing oranges and corals. This one is called Hot and Spicy, and it's just like a tangerine kind of orange color. And th these ones always come out so nicely on the nail. Like, you don't have to put a ton of coats on. Usually I just do two coats, a clear coat on the top, and of course like my base coat, and it lasts a really long time. Um, now, a new thing that I found at Sally's like last week, and I actually have on my nails right now, is this like little, I don't know what really to call it, because it's not glitter, but it kind of reminds me of like gold leaf, you know, if you like kind of um, do crafting, that gold leaf stuff that you can put on things. It reminds me of that. It looks like little pieces of foil suspended in the clear polish. What you do is you, well, I mean, you could probably use any color underneath, but um, the demo that they had in the Sally's Beauty Supply had black polish as the base coat and then this on top, and it looks so pretty, and I'm completely loving it. I've had it on this week, and I've gotten a ton of compliments on it, so I think this is probably going to be, like, my go-to look for fall, but, you know, my I change my mind every week, so... But I put the, and it's an Orly product, I put this black Orly um, for my base coat, this on top of it. I did two coats of this, and then my clear coat, clear coat for the top. The black is called Liquid Vinyl, and then the kind of coppery, glittery stuff is called Watch It Glitter. Now this stuff came in, I want to say like five different colors. They had this one, which is a copper, they had a dark brown, they had a gold, red, and a silver, I believe. But yeah, I definitely want to get the other colors of this because it just gives such like a really cool, pretty effect on there. So these are two of my favorite. I do like Orly um, brand as well. And these two I wore a lot during the summer. They're both Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. And these are, I think like a couple bucks, two or three dollars, which is a really good price for, you know, nail polish. Especially these ones because they do last a long time. So the kind of pinky color, pinky orange. This one's called Coral Reef, which I was obsessed with coral for the greater part of the summer. And then also Mint Sorbet is like this minty green, which I love the mint shade as well. So I usually alternated between these two in the summertime. Um, the next one I'll talk about is Wet n Wild. And this is a red shade. Let me see if the, there's a color name on here. I read a good book is the name of it. This one really surprised me because it. I saw that on the top that it says Manicurve Pro Brush is what the little label says. So I assumed it was going to be like, you know, a wet and wild kind of cheesy brush. But when you open it up, it's like a super wide brush and it kind of like threw me off. I'm like, well, that's really wide. I hope it's, you know, not going to be difficult to paint. But it actually is like the easiest brush I've ever used to paint my nails. So I'm definitely going to try more colors of these. And this is a really nice red shade. I think every woman should have a few basic shades of nail polish. Um, definitely a good red, um, a black, some pastel, like maybe a, like a natural pink. 
um, if you don't want to get like too crazy with your polish. But those three, I think, can carry you a long way as far as looking polished and keeping your nails nicely manicured. Um, if you do like a little bit more um, of the crazy colors like I do, I'll, I have a couple of pastels and then also this one here. But I'll talk about this one. It's a simple color. It's a, like a pale baby blue and there's a little bit of a pink sparkle running through it. It was so pretty. I had to pick it up and they were only, um, sometimes like at Walgreens, they'll go on sale. So this was only 99 cents. Normally they're $1.99, but it was 99 cents, so I had to buy it. And this one's called Cinderella.